so um let's kind of reveal that there's gonna be a new race called pandarin and there's gonna be a new um world of warcraft expansion pack called mist of pandaria this is what everybody's been waiting for because they a lot of people have been waiting to play um, a panda race I have like a few friends who were waiting for this for like ages they were commenting on forums saying hey we should have uh, this panda races from World of uh, Warcraft 3 because because in Warcraft 3 um, the pandas were already out and there's a few of the races which is really cool and uh, yeah they're finally finally doing that now they're going to be releasing the expansion pla uh, pack pretty soon I guess I don't know so uh, yeah and there's going to be another class called the monk very cool but it's an expansion pack for just one race and and one uh, one new class why don't they do another race of something else and another class then it, it'll be worth the the expansion pack
I've been waiting for this expansion pack for a while now. Even though, yeah, whatever. Um, so I'm actually thinking of getting back into WoW, but I'm I'm like considering it just because this race. Because if I do get back into WoW, I'm gonna lose a lot of my social life, which is what most people do. It's really tough to balance the two. Because if you're into this game, you're gonna be so involved, indulged into this game that you're gonna get a lot of things. So maybe I shouldn't, maybe I should, I don't know. I. Oh, BlizzCon is. was yesterday? I'm not sure how long BlizzCon um, happens for, like, either it's just a day or. It's a longer than three days or something. But um, what I think about BlizzCon is that uh, the virtual ticket, the virtual ticket costs forty bucks to to just um, see BlizzCon through a computer at home anywhere. But uh, think about it, the virtual ticket for forty bucks that's like BS. You know why that's BS? Because you're just watching it through a screen. You're not actually there. That, that's like... That sucks. <laughs> and they're trying to charge you 40 bucks for that? That's bull. You know what you could do with 30? You could, um... You could have two months of WoW. Or two months of WoW. Or one day. BlizzCon or whatever, that's just overpriced. They they should have put it down for like t to ten bucks. Then uh, it'll be worth it. Forty bucks? No, I'm not gonna buy that the virtual ticket. That's just BS. Um, but there's a lot of people who already put like releases. The BlizzCon videos and stuff, so you can just check it out on YouTube, whatever, and see if you can get anything out of it. A lot of previews and a lot of interesting stuff. Okay.